Were all oh. the guys pursuing you because they knew that you were not down for a relationship? No, I think they were pursuing me for my ass. Oh. She like, has a big butt. I was not expecting it when she walked really? in. I was like, girl, you're no, supposed to get one or the stop, other. You can't have titties and oh ass God. naturally. That's not allowed. That's not allowed. <laughs> it's yeah. not allowed. That's amazing. Stop. Okay, so they were pursuing you for your ass. How do you feel oh, yeah. about your ass? You, you, um, were you value, valuing this asset or were you like kind of uncomfortable with it? Well, you know, I don't think I was the cutest in high school. So I think the only thing I had going for me was my ass, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I still work out to maintain it. I try to keep a good figure. So. Well, the big ass is popular these days, yeah. too. Kim yeah. Kardashian, I heard her little sob story about how no, nobody thought she was hot because she had a big ass back in the day and all that. Uh-huh. I feel like a lot of girls have that story because big butts weren't always really popular, no. but they are mo- more so now. Mm-hmm. So a lot of girls got teased for having big butt and big legs. That's because rap took over the world. That's true. Yeah. It's probably a part to play in it. Definitely. Also, being in LA, true. there's so much bodies but you so. go down south you go to atlanta i feel like the big asses are even more oh my god yeah. yeah definitely in atlanta for sure right bbl bodies so, so if i had asked you when you were like 18 graduating high school i assume you graduated high school yes um if i had asked you hey what about porn what would you have said i think part of me would have been down but i also got in a relationship right after high school that was for three years and that guy was not about that I even mentioned to him about OnlyFans. So like starting an OnlyFans together, it'd just be us, but he didn't like that. So it didn't really work out. Um, That's why you guys broke up? Because you wanted to start one? Yeah, it's not exactly why we broke up, but it was a part of it for uh-huh. sure. Because I don't drive. I don't know how to fucking drive. So I didn't have a job. Uh-huh. So I felt like for me, OnlyFans was the best thing for me to do. Because A, since I was 13, I've always been taking nudes myself. Always been super sexual. So I felt like it was the perfect thing for me. Um, but yeah, I wasn't able to do it until I got out of that relationship. So So what were you doing during that relationship? How was that? It was great. It was a great relationship. Um, it just ended on bad terms. Uh, I think that we were just in two different stages of life. And we, you know, things were great in the beginning. But I think we started to drift apart towards the end. Um yeah, just different stages of life. Right. What was but- your parents' reaction to you doing porn? So my sister actually told them. Uh, she, One of her friends told her they saw, I think they saw something about me on Twitter. And she immediately told them. Um, and so, yeah, they definitely did not like that. Were you still living with them when this happened? No, I was okay. living with a boyfriend at the time. Okay. Give me an example of the kind of stuff they said to you about you doing this. Oh, God, I haven't just thought like, about it. You've just completely forsaken our entire bloodline. Not even oh, that. I know, Thrones. like, so when they found out I was doing OnlyFans, they definitely didn't let me come back home. Like, uh, I ended up getting in another relationship after the three-year one, and it ended up being very traumatic, very abusive. Really? And so I ended up calling my parents, and I was, like, crying. I was, like, can I please, like, come home? Like, I need to be in a safe place. And they wouldn't let me come home because they knew I was doing an OnlyFans. Wow. And they were like, we're not going to let you live under our roof while you're doing things like that. And I was like, I won't do it anymore. I won't do it. But, um, but yeah. Are you guys so. on good terms now? We're definitely on better terms now. I think that they know that, you know, I'm like doing my thing. I'm out here. I'm successful. I've been, you know, nothing bad's happened to me out here. And so I feel like they are more accepting now. Uh-huh. Um, but I think at first they didn't want anything to do with me. Do you yeah. feel like... And I have younger siblings, so I think it was yeah. that part was an aspect as well. That's what I was going to ask. Like, do they feel like they can't share you with the other siblings because you're going to, like, corrupt them since you're the oldest one? So thankfully... Okay, honestly, all of my siblings are very accepting. None of them... Um, I don't feel like any of them judge me for what I do. I feel like they all know. They all know. Okay. They all know. And my siblings keep in contact with me more than my parents do. So they miss me all the time, you know. They know I okay. love them, so they we're good. They weren't, like, indoctrinated no. by the religious stuff and then rejecting uh, of you. If they were, they definitely didn't say anything to me about it, so... Okay. Yo, we just hit 400,000 subscribers right here on the Clips channel, so if you want to help us out, click subscribe, get us to 500K. Yeah.